Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning and it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm so Halloweened out though. It's insane. Like, did three costumes this past weekend. Go watch my Halloween weekend vlog if you haven't already. Um, but as you can tell by my voice, I'm sick. I haven't been sick in so long. Like, my immune system has been amazing for the last two years, honestly, and I'm so beyond grateful for that, and it's just caught up to me, which totally makes sense if you guys watched, like, two vlogs ago, I was getting really bad anxiety, I was really, I was just overrunning myself, and my body was like, hey, you gotta chill, so, went to City MD, we don't have COVID, and I just have cold, so, I'm just kind of taking it easy. Yesterday, Sunday morning, I woke up not feeling well. Just, like, not super, like, physically I'm pretty okay. Just, you know, up here, just congested. And so, yesterday I took it easy all day. I literally just had soup and watched movies and football and all the things. This morning, I had a really nice slow morning. And now, my mom was like, you need to get outside. Um, but I don't want to, like, overstress my body. I'm not working out by any means. But I think I'm just going to take a solo walk to the West Side Highway and just walk. Um, you know, not overstrain myself, not overwork myself because I think it's my body telling me to like chill the frick out. Thankfully, I have nothing today. I'm not seeing anybody today. We're so good there. Tomorrow I have some stuff I'm supposed to do. One of which is therapy, which is fine because that's on Zoom, but the other things, I have some events tomorrow night, so I think I'm gonna cancel those. We're gonna actually take a ginger shot together right now. But yeah, so I wasn't gonna vlog but vlogging makes me happy, actually, and I just get sad if I'm not vlogging, which maybe isn't good, but I really enjoy vlogging. So I thought I'd take you guys along on like a, it's gonna be a week in my life in New York City, but more subdued, more chilling at home, doing things for myself, maybe do some organization while I have this time, and I'm really, I'm so grateful. This is one of those weeks where I'm grateful that I can cancel things and it won't like, affect me super bad in the long run. I just wanna take care of my body. Um, so if any of you are at home not feeling well, hopefully this YouTube video will make you a little happier. I was watching YouTube all this morning and it put me in a really, really good mood. So, but I need to get out. I just wanna go for a walk, get some sunshine, get some fresh air. Maybe I'll see some Halloween things on my walk, but just a solo day. So we're taking a ginger shot together. Cheers. Of course, I just brushed my teeth, holy crap. Oh my god, eh. Holy fuck, okay. I don't like to chase it because I like the burn. It like wakes me up. For breakfast this morning, I had an avocado with salt and pepper and instead of doing like my normal eggs, I just got this, not sponsored. My dad has been loving this and I literally would do anything my dad tells me to. Super gut, gut balancing chocolate shake. It has 20 grams of prebiotic fiber, zero grams of sugar, 15 grams of protein. These are all the benefits, um, but I really like it because I don't normally like stuff like this, but this is, I got the chocolate flavor, literally I just mix it with water in my Nutribullet, it tasted like chocolate milk, and I'm obsessed, so, and I feel super full from it, there's like a ton, there's 26 vitamins and minerals, I'm so obsessed, so I thought I'd shout that out, I also Uber Eats some emergency this morning, so I don't like to take that right in the morning because sometimes I'll feel like a little unwell if I like haven't eaten yet so I didn't drink one yet but yeah <clears throat> the road to recovery I'll show you guys my outfit really quick and then I'm gonna get walking I'm wearing this sweatshirt that I forgot I had <laughs> um, from Aritzia I just love the color so much I think it's very crisp and I like the hood I like how it is like an I don't know I like how the hood lies if that makes sense pulled my hair back and then bag, Lululemon, leggings, our story with an eye, I also have the story sports bra underneath, my shoes are Nike super reps. Let's go for a little hot girl walk, happy girl walk, just a walk, whatever you want to call it.
walk was lovely. I don't even know how long I was out, honestly. But I'm back now. I opened the windows for some fresh air, lit a candle, and I'm about to take a shower. We're doing like a full shower. I haven't washed my hair since I got my hair dyed last Wednesday. It's Monday, so. Um, I'm gonna do the full shower. I feel like it'll feel so good. The steam will just feel amazing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I lit this candle too and it smells so good. White tea and sage from Bath and Body Works. I'm obsessed with it. Just showered, I feel incredible. I'm wearing this like one piece jumpsuit set for, or not set, just a jumpsuit from Lunia. I love it, it's so comfy. And my hair's up, eye patches are on, peace out skincare. Peace out, puffy eyes. It's time to make some lunch. And I have things that I can make. Hopefully I'll make enough to be able to have this for dinner too. We're gonna do chicken. I need the Brussels sprouts or cauliflower. Let's do the Brussels sprouts. Oh, but I really want cauliflower. No, I'm gonna do Brussels sprouts. Should I add some garlic to the Brussels sprouts? Yes. And then I'm gonna do some couscous. Wait, I don't have any. Duh, I already used it. Wow. Okay, well, I'll do a little rice. That's okay. We've always got rice on hand. And I'll have some for lunch now. And then make enough for dinner later. And I think it'll be perfect. Ta-da. Ugh, I'm just so happy. We've got my rice chicken, Brussels sprouts. This will definitely be enough for lunch and dinner, which is always a win. Okay, I've obviously cooked myself rice and chicken before, but never made Brussels sprouts at home, I don't think. So let's see how I did. I just did olive oil and salt and pepper. Mmm. I did a good job. This is your sign to glamorize your vitamin C consumption. Wine glass, emergency immune plus, Vitamin C in here. I grew up drinking these. I wish I had them like a couple days ago. I just should have drank them knowing like Halloween weekend was happening, but I didn't. Should I make a little cranberry cocktail with it? Maybe I will. Let's do that. I got water. I'm just gonna do like a splash of cranberry. I don't even know if that's gonna taste good. I'm not gonna do that actually, because I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but I'm gonna mix it. I have this frother, but it's also good. Like I'll mix my athletic greens with it. So like that's good for that as well. Yay. Tada. Oh my God, my nose is so red. Cheers. I honestly enjoy the taste of this. So to each his own, but cheers. It's a lot later now, and I've got my robe on. I'm all cozy. I've been looking out the window and looking at people in their costumes. And I decided tonight's the night. I've never seen the movie Practical Magic. It's on HBO Max, and Sandra Bullock's in it. And I think it's kind of Halloween-y. Um, so hopefully it's not too scary. I don't do well with super scary alone. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna watch this. It was hard, though, because the new episode of White Lotus just came out for season two, but... Uh-oh, I'm already scared. I don't think this is supposed to be scary. I think it's like romance, maybe. Anyways, vibes are cozy right now. Tuesday morning. I've had a lovely morning. I've been spending my mornings watching YouTube videos, which I haven't done in a while. Usually I listen to music or I'll read or I'll like go on my phone, but I don't know. This morning and yesterday morning, it's just been really comforting to watch YouTube. Obviously I love YouTube because I post so much, but I feel like I post more than I consume, which I think is healthy, but I don't know. It's been lovely. Anyways, I'm really into these super gut smoothies. This is my breakfast right now. 
um, and I'll probably get some avocado later, but this is so good, and I added the kefir, which is like a probiotic. Yeah, because there's prebio prebiotic in the super gut smoothie, and then probiotic in kefir, which is like a cultured milk. It's kind of yogurty, and I added it per my dad's recommendation because it also has added benefits, and then it also gives it more of like a milkshake taste, like uh, consistency, should I say? Mmm. It's so good, and I mean that. Like, I do not like protein things. I think they all just taste disgusting, but this actually tastes like a chocolate milkshake or chocolate milk, and I feel like a child. But it's so good, and it's so easy to make. I'm gonna use your bullet. Mm. Anyways, we're about to announce our live show on Gals on the Go. I've never talked about it. I literally have three minutes to talk. We're about to announce the live show on Gals on the Go Instagram. I'm literally peeing my pants so excited. We are doing a live show in New York City at Gramercy Theater theater on Friday, December 9th at 8 p.m. And Brooke and I are doing a whole meeting about it this week. We have a ton of fun plans, never before seen content. I'm really, really, really excited. Um, our families are gonna be there, or some of our family's gonna be there, like Ryan's gonna be there. I'm sure some of our friends are gonna be there, so I'm really, really excited. So if tickets haven't sold out yet, I will have the link down below for you guys, or just go to the Gals on the Go Instagram if I forget. Gals on the Go live show, and if it goes well, we'll be doing more. But yeah, it's our first live show, and for it to be in New York City, we are very excited, especially at Gramercy Theater. It's very iconic for podcast shows, especially. So, But in two minutes, I'm hopping onto therapy, actually, and I didn't realize therapy cut into the time of announcing the live show, so it's a little stressing me out, so I'm going to be like, hey, therapist, love you, but right at 10.59 slash 11, 11 a.m., I'm going to have to sign off because I want to be there to announce everything with you guys. So that's what's going on. Happy Tuesday. Happy live show announcement day. I'm pumped. Hi guys, so I just finished therapy. I always just feel so much lighter after therapy. It's a, it's a fabulous feeling, really. I am slowly working my way up of drinking this. So right now I'm only having six ounces. Kind of like kind of like how I take seed. They tell you to like kind of introduce your body to it. Same with this. This is a prebiotic. So at first you only take six ounces. And then if you're not like having really bad abdominal pains or like gas or bloating, then you move up to the 12 ounces. So that's like a lot more filling. So it's been like an hour and I'm definitely hungry and I'm listening to my body. So I'm gonna make some avocado and egg, but, and I knew that would happen, but um, yeah, this is how I wash my Nutribullet. And I think also to make it more filling, my dad was suggesting I add flax seed and like blueberries and kale which I feel like will make it not taste as chocolatey, but I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But yeah, so I'm gonna make egg and avocado. I had to pause the music because copyright. But I've been listening to Taylor Swift all morning, in specific the Speak Now album, because I just love it. Like, probably my favorite song by Taylor Swift of all time is Enchanted. I love it. it brings me back to, like, middle school. I would go on bike rides to the park and sit there and sing it dramatically. Like, I'll just, it's just a core memory for me. Um, and she just announced her tour where she's doing the Eras tour. That's iconic, like all the eras. Like that's what everyone wants to see, let's be real. Like we wanna see all of it. It's just been so long. Actually, I went to her Reputation tour, which I guess was her last tour. And she did do a lot of songs from like different eras in her life, which is what made the concert like just so much fun. Like it was, I went to the one in Chicago, it was seriously one of the best nights of my life, I went with Kenzie Elizabeth. We had so much fun. It was so magical. Like I literally have the chills thinking about it. So I can't even imagine what this is going to be like. Me trying to just like balance you guys on different things in my kitchen. <laughs> um, but I'm finally running the dishwasher. I've been playing Jenga in my dishwasher, trying to make sure everything fits. So I was just like, I don't want to do it until it's super full. And it's super full now, it actually, hold anything else which is my mom's probably watching this like oh my gosh don't do that but I'm doing it because I'm obsessed with having a bigger dishwasher now okay that's that it's time for my emergency cocktail of the day I'm a good glass I'm feeling this today 
for my birthday, Margot Lee got me these beautiful glasses. They're technically like whis whiskey glasses. She was like, because you love Fireball, which I thought was so sweet. But also they're just so fun to hold and they're so cool. Why can't I drink my emergency in them? You know, you gotta do it. Okay. Today, I canceled everything. I was supposed to go to two events tonight, not going. And then I also had a derma planning appointment. I was excited to get all the peach fuzz off my face just because sometimes the at-home derma planning can only do so much. I like to actually go get it done. Is this all? Okay, I think it's all mixed. You guys are like, I don't care. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not getting derma planning anymore today. So another chill day. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill here, keep posting about the live show, do some emails. I have a couple like branded content stuff to film today. I'm feeling a lot better today too. That NyQuil last night knocked me out. Like, oh, I didn't even take my DayQuil today. I also need to um, refill my supplements. So I'm gonna take my DayQuil. Even though I'm definitely feeling better today. See, resting just does a lot. So I'm taking my DayQuil. And then I need to refill my supplements for the week so that I'm all set. I just love taking my supplements out of here so I don't have to take, take every bottle out every morning. And since I'm traveling to Nashville this weekend, it'll be really easy to just have this. So I'm going to keep listening to Speak Now, do this, and I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I've just been sitting here getting a ton of things done that I needed to do that I just like didn't have the energy or brain power to do yesterday or the day before. So it feels good to definitely feel a little better. I still like sound super nasally, which is not fun. Um, and I'm still trying to like rest because even though I'm like sitting on my couch doing stuff, I feel like that's not like your your nervous system still stimulated and there's just a lot going on at the live show, but so excited everyone's commenting and like really pumped. So I'm just trying to take breaks in between each task and normally I'm not like this, but I'm just starting to realize and believe that your nervous system completely affects your immune system and everything like that. So I'm just trying to stay chill. <laughs> um, but something I found very, very, very helpful is, and I mentioned this, but I just bought a notebook. Um, and do this in your print planner or wherever, is to, yes, you have your to-do list, but write down your priorities list. I used to do this in like grade school and it really, really helped me because sometimes I get really overwhelmed, like oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, and it's all my to-do list. But for some reason, and it's such a simple change, but putting things, you know, by priority importance really helps me get things done. So I sit there and I'm kind of like, okay, like what do I want to get done first? What do I want to get down second? I have nine things on here and so, then you literally have an order. It's not like, oh, what should I do now? It's like, okay, based off of my logic, what I think makes the most sense, this is what needs to get done in that order. And it helps me get things done more productively. So I did the first thing. Now I just did the second thing. So I'm gonna cross it off with you guys here. My third thing is up and then snowball after that. So just thought I'd share that tip. It's a very simple tip, but I find that prioritizing things can really help me. I also feel like I need to get outside because I haven't been outside yet and the sun sets so much earlier now that I want to get outside before it gets dark. So I might go for a little walk here in a second just to get some fresh air, you know? All right, we are leaving the apartment. Shirt is cut, pants are local European. Proud of sunglasses. We're just gonna go for a walk, get some fresh air. I'm gonna turn off my TV. I'm excited, let's go outside. And yes, I am not wearing a jacket because it's 67 degrees outside, so, woo! Back from my walk now, I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make a cauliflower pizza because they're so bomb. I get these outer aisle cauliflower pizza crust, fresh mozzarella, and then tomato sauce. I put it in the oven for 10 minutes. I preheat it to 350, so actually, I will do that now. But yeah, it's so delicious, and I think I might also just to add a little something, something, I might do a side of arugula little salad situation with like Italian dressing. I think that'd be yummy.
Okay, so while I wait for the pizza to cook, um, something that made me a little anxious today, but I just didn't, I didn't even bring it up because I didn't want to bring energy to it. I didn't even bring it up in therapy because I knew everything was going to be okay. It was just my inner <clears throat> feelings. Um, Finley got neutered this morning. Finley is my two-year-old puppy, which um, I love so much. He just turned two. And I'm obsessed with him, and he's a golden doodle, and I literally am counting down the days to see him when I go home for Thanksgiving week. But all day, I've just been like, ah, like I knew he was, I like tried to not ask many details, like honestly, I didn't even want to know when he was going. Like I just, I, surgeries freak me out in general, it's kind of like, stems from my health anxiety, all of that, but... I got, then I like figured out that he was in there at 9, or my mom dropped him off at 9, and they said they are supposed to pick him up at 2, but like... I haven't heard from her in a couple hours, or she texted me like an hour ago, but she said she hadn't gotten him yet, and I was just, but she just sent a picture of him with his little cone on, on the couch, all cuddled up and cute, so everything is okay, we're okay, and I'm really thankful for that, I'm thankful for veterinarians, for doctors, for everyone in this world that keeps us healthy, and our vet did an amazing job, and Finley is perfectly great, and he's all neutered now, so we can't make any babies. Um, my mom said he's good. He's just a little wobbly. He has to wear the cone for 10 to 14 days. So he's going to get the cone off, like, literally right before I come home. So, thought I'd update you guys. Um, that just, like, see, if I, not that Finley isn't my dog, but he's, like, my family's dog, so my mom. But, like, one day if I get my own own dog, that is just something I'm like, oh, my God. I, to drop them, I literally am not good at that. I am not that comforting. Also, 30 more seconds to see if my pizza's good. It's looking good. All right, pizza looks amazing. It, the thing with the cauliflower crust is it definitely doesn't get super crispy, but apparently my dad got me this perforated pan. We'll see, I've never used it before. I've only used my other caraway pans. Apparently this, for pizza in specific, helps bring air through making it more like a little bit crispier because cauliflower in general just it's hard to get it like even if I put my cauliflower thins in the toaster they don't really get crispy so we'll see but it looks delicious I'm gonna let it cool off for a little bit all right it's come time to swiffer my floors so I cleared everything out we're gonna do this really quick I don't know why I just had an inkling I wanted to do this right now okay bathroom floor has been swiffered now to get back to my priorities list I'm gonna get back on the couch computer all the things a little work break to go check my mail and just to get up and my grandma and granddad sent me a little val valentine's a halloween card they send me cards for like every holiday it's seriously so sweet and so thoughtful and they have so many grandkids i'm like wow that's so kind and my grandma will be here in a couple weeks to visit i'm so excited okay it's a lot later now i am ready for some more food i didn't end up having salad earlier so that kind of makes sense arugula cut up mozzarella tomato and then i'm also cooking chicken to put on top with some Italian dressing. Okay, this looks fire, if I do say so myself. Guys, this is what happens when you make priorities lists. You actually do the things because you're like, oh, this makes sense, like this order. I'm about to cross out the last thing on my list and end up being up to 11 things and they're all crossed out. Not to brag. <laughs> but that just feels so good and it's all because I did um in orders that it just made sense like for filming things okay like let me get all the emails done and then the email like i kind of batched everything and then just now i kind of finished the more mindless stuff like reservations for things i had to make email like a dm i had to send or a couple dms to brands i had to send um and buying tickets for something so those were like more like less worky things more just other things so it just feels really good and now i'm just trying to wind down and i'm gonna get in bed and read my book i'm feeling amazing like i guess i'm still a little bit congested but i just feel good anyways i'm gonna head to bed and i will see you guys in the morning
Good morning, everybody. I'm feeling like $1,000, maybe $10,000. I don't even know. I'm in the best mood because I woke up feeling so good these last three days that I've taken to just literally rest. Well, I guess I was doing some work, but just like chill the fuck out have done so much for me. And I'm gonna start doing that more. So I'm drinking, I moved up to 12 ounces on the Super Gut smoothie. I'm drinking this right now. I also had like a little hash brown from Trader Joe's cause I like need substance when I wake up. Like I need, give me substance. Um, <laughs> so I was playing country music this morning as soon as I woke up. And I mean, I can't do that every morning. Usually I need like chill coffee house or jazz. But this morning I was just feeling it really got me on to a good day like and live show tickets are about to go on sale yesterday we announced them but they're about to go on sale so i can't wait to find out like what those numbers are looking like the theater only holds 400 people um so it's like a smaller venue because we've never done one before so we're like let's start small yeah the country music just put me in a good mood if you like country music it's a great way to start the day because it's not like rap but it's not like super slow it's just like a good upbeat also I know I keep talking about this workout set, but everyone needs it. I'm back on my lemon grind. It is just, I feel so good in this set. Like, I just need to get, well, it's not a set. It's the, oh my gosh, that's in my last vlog. The, it's in my Hello Weekend vlog when I go buy a second one. I think it's the Y Flow. Remind me, I'll link it below. The Y Flow bra, Nulu. And then... Probably means yoga flow. And then the aligned high rise leggings. I get the crop because I'm shorter. It is so dang flattering. Again, I don't know if I could do spin in this with this top, but this is just, I love where it hits on my waist. I feel good in it. Brooke and I are having like a three, four hour meeting here at Gals on the Go HQ, not my apartment. We were gonna do it at the office, but we want privacy because we're planning the show and we're gonna like get up and we have like not a script but like segments that we you guys are gonna die if you're coming it's like funny shit that we're so excited that we've been holding to do for a live show so we're gonna basically write the script or the outline if you will for the live show today or it could be like in the sense of what would the gals do I feel like that could be a bit like in like a section where we're just talking like like you no, know yeah. we're gonna have similar answers I feel like for advice bye